Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Walnut Grove Awards Day 2021. I am very grateful to be a part of this celebration. Thank you to every parent, guardian, family member, and friend that partnered with us in the students' education this year. Your support made a difference in the progress that our students were able to make. Students, I admire your perseverance. You made progress during this virtual hybrid, let's all be in person COVID-19 school year. You have shown all of us that you can do anything when you put forth your best effort. I want to shout out to Mrs. Ray, Mr. Blair, teachers, and all of our personnel who work diligently to make this year as smooth and safe as possible. Today, we celebrate the, accomplishment, the accomplishments that you have made and the hard work that you have completed. You are Bulldogs. We believe in you. Always strive for excellence. Marissa, 
Izzy, and Emma. Good job, guys. My AB Honor Roll students are Piper, Can Piper, sorry, Ellie, and Catherine. Good job, guys. Now, Ms. Bowles and I decided that we wanted to recognize our readers. Um, everyone showed growth and reading excellence or achievement. So when I call your name, please stand. Easton. And they have worked so hard. Kelsey. Cooper. Kinsey. Billy. Piper. Brantley. Levi. Maddie F. Ellie, Logan, Maddie M, Natalie, Marissa, Danny, Izzy, Emma, Nate, and Catherine. Very good job, guys. I'm very proud of you. Good morning, boys and girls. I am Ms. Bowles, and I would like to introduce to you all my A Honor Roll students for the 2021 school year. Stephanie, Bryson, Lily, Lily Layton, Molly, Noah, Lily W, and Kenzie. Thank you, you may be seated. to introduce my AB Honor Roll students for this school year. Please stand when you are called. Olivia, Ethan, Mackenzie, Hayden, Allie, and EJ.
Kylie, Caden, Jada, Jordan, Aubrey, Gavin, and Aniston. And the art award from Miss Self goes to you, Autumn. My name is Coach Swain. I am the physical education teacher here at Walnut Grove. The following students will be receiving the Physical Fitness Award for achieving healthy to high fitness zone in all four components of physical fitness testing. When I call your name, please stand. Easton, Kelsey, Cooper, Olivia, Kenzie, Billy, Piper, Maddie F, Ellie Hunt, huh? Ellie. Lily, Lily L, Peyton, Shaylin, Natalie, Noah, Izzy, Nate, Kenzie W, Catherine, Braxton, Logan, Emma Jane, Shelby, Kylie, Jada, and Zachary. Congratulations. I'm the school counselor at Walnut Grove. Every morning, we declare our mission statement. Students, would you say it with me now? I will achieve my personal best and make a positive impact on the world around me. To help us live out our mission statement, we learn about and practice character, positive character traits. Our Walnut Grove family believes that character development is very important to our education and to our contribution to the world. This year, we focused on the following monthly character traits, gratitude, empathy, generosity, flexibility, dedication, curiosity, forgiveness, determination, and conscientiousness. Each month, students were recognized by their teacher for consistently demonstrating the character trait among their classmates. Would the following students please stand when your name is called and remain standing until I finish. For September's character trait of gratitude in Ms. Clark's class, Henry, in Ms. Satterfield's class, Kaysen and Preston, in Ms. Bowles class, Bryson, in Ms. Willett's class, Nate and Marissa, and in Ms. Alexander's class, Braxton. For October, our character trait uh, was uh, empathy. In Ms. Clark's class, Hunter. In Ms. Satterfield's class, Sutton and Shaylin. In Ms. Bowles class, Wesley and Olivia. In Ms. Willett's class, Na uh, Kelsey and Natalie. And in Ms. Alexander's class, Aniston. November's trait is generosity. In Ms. Satterfield's class, Kensley and Sammy. In Ms. Bowles class, Noah and Lily W. In Ms. Willett's class, Easton and Cooper. In Ms. Alexander's class, Emma Jane. For December's character trait of flexibility, would all of our teachers and staff stand? They were our top dogs for flexibility this year. For January, Dedication in Ms. Clark's class, Henry and Timothy. In Ms. Satterfield's class, Sammy and Sutton. In Ms. Willett's class, Emma and Catherine. And in Ms. Alexander's class, Zachary. February, Curiosity in Ms. Clark's class, Caleb and Gannon and Timothy. And in Ms. Satterfield's class, Ashai and Shaylin. For Ms. Bowles' class, Noah and Lily W. For Ms. Willett's class, Logan and Piper. And in Ms. Alexander's class, Gavin. 
For March, our character trait was forgiveness. In Ms. Satterfield's class, Kinsley and Nicholas, B. In Ms. Bowles class, Wesley and Molly. And in Ms. Willett's class, Kenzie and Maddie, Maddie M. And in Ms. Alexander's class, Alexa. For April, determination. In Ms. Clark's class, Colton. In Ms. Satterfield's class, Sammy and Melissa. In Ms. Bowles' class, Lily L. and Ethan. In Ms. Willett's class, uh, Maddie F., Billy, Brantley, and Levi. And in Ms. Alexander's class, Shelby. And finally, for the month of May, conscientiousness. In Ms. Clark's class, Lily. In Ms. Satterfield's class, John Wesley and Nicholas S. In Ms. Bowles' class, Stephanie. Shaylin, James, and Kenzie. In Ms. Willett's class, Izzy and Ellie H. And in Ms. Alexander's class, Auto. Thank you. You may be seated. Boys and girls, let's give a big hand of applause to all of our employees that have worked so hard this year to make a difference for every student in our building. Now let's give a hand of applause to every student in first through third grade that has worked so wonderfully and persevered for this year. I want to encourage each of you to do just what you spoke, and to live out our mission statement throughout the summer. I want you to enjoy a very happy, restful, and safe summer. You are dismissed. to every parent, guardian, family member, and friend that partnered with us in your students' education this year. Your support made a difference in the progress that our students were able to make. Students, I admire your perseverance. You made progress during this virtual, hybrid, let's all be in person, COVID-19 school year. You have shown all of us that you can do anything when you put forth your best effort. I want to shout out to Mrs. Ray, Mr. Blair, teachers, and all of our personnel who work diligently to make this year as smooth and safe as possible. Today, we celebrate the accomplishments that you have made and the hard work that you have completed. You are Bulldogs. We believe in you. Always strive for excellence. teach fourth grade. I'm going to start with A honor roll. I have Talon Balch, Sophia Velasquez, Riley Watson, and Harlow Wilson. A B honor roll, 
Andy Brewer, Elena Bullington, Michael Corbin, Angel Easterwood, Crimson Godbolt, Anna Holmes, Donovan May, Nicole Mendoza, Riley Myers, Ivana Neal, Rebecca Roberts, Peyton Schaefer, Natalie Troop, and Annabelle Winkles. today are our citizenship awards. These awards go to Riley Myers, Bella Sisk, Talon Balch, and Hannah Holmes. taught fifth grade and virtual this year. I'm giving out my fifth grade homeroom awards. First, I'm going to start with a honor roll. I have Kaysen, Bryson, Tristan G, Tripp, and Houston. AB honor roll, I have Samantha, Rodney, Xavier, Aiden, Landry Claire, and Haley. And then for my citizenship awards, and those awards go to um, the two people that represented the three R's the best in our class. And that is Kaysen and Haley. I am Mrs. Snay, and I teach the uh, fifth grade also. And um, first, I'd like to recognize our A honor roll students, Liam, Sutton, Leo, and Ari. Okay, next, these students are on our A and B honor roll, Caden, Trevor, Serenity, and Sawyer. We also have an art award, and that goes to Cheyenne. And last, we have our citizenship award, and those students represented our three R's the best. And those are Serenity and Leo. I'm Miss Reese and I teach sixth grade. When I call your name, if you'll just stand where you are. We'll start with A honor roll. Noah. Jordan and Sophia. A B honor roll, Maddie, Mackenzie, Kaya, Skyler, Ayla, Carson, Q. 
Kieran, Peyton G, Hayden, Damian, Kale, and Griffin. We have two music awards. Those go to Kale and Madison M. Our art award goes to Kieran. Indian education to Peyton L. and Noah. And our highest averages for the year, language arts goes to Carson. Our highest reading average was a, was a tie between four students. So Jordan, Maddie, Sophia, and Noah. <laughs> highest math is Noah. Highest social studies and science is also Noah. Good job. <laughs> now, before I give our last awards for the day, Try to make it through. I'm going to give you guys one more speech before you leave me. I know you love those. I've had the privilege of teaching you guys not only your last year here at Morning Grove, but your fourth year grade here too. So I've had the privilege of teaching you all twice. I've watched you grow a lot. We read a book in fourth grade, and I've tried my hardest to come up with great words to tell you guys, but I kept coming back to Mr. Tushman's words in the book Wonder, so I'm just gonna recite those for you. When you reflect on not just this past year, but all of your time here at Walnut Grove, I want you to look at where you are now and where you've been. You've all gotten a little taller, some of you have gotten a lot taller, a little stronger and a little smarter, but the best way to measure how much you've grown is it by inches or the number of laps you can run around the track. So. Or even your grade point average. Though those things aren't all important. It's what you've done with your time, how you've chosen to spend your days, and whom you have touched. That, to me, is the greatest measure of success. This quote from a book called The Little White Bird says, Shall we make a new rule in life? Always try to be a little kinder than is necessary. Kinder than is necessary because it's not enough to be kind. One should be kinder than is needed. So the two students receiving our citizenship awards this year have been kinder than necessary. From offering to help a classmate in need to picking up trash without being asked, kind smile across the room to the quiet, gentle spirits. Our citizenship awards this year go to Noah and Kaya. My hope for all of you is that wherever you are, whenever you can, you will try to act a little kinder than is necessary. The world really would be a better place. I love you guys. I promise I won't cry. <laughs> All right, um, I'm Coach Swain, the PE teacher here at Walnut Grove. The following students will be receiving the Physical Fitness Award for achieving healthy to high fitness zone in all four components of physical fitness testing. If I call your name, please stand. From the fourth grade, Talon, Lexi, Crimson, Briley, Hannah, Riley, Celeste, Peyton, Mason, Natalie, Sophia, Harlow, and Daniela. Great job. All right, from fifth grade, Griffin, Kaysen, Caden C, Xavier, Sutton, Serenity, Cheyenne, Leo, Landry Claire, Summer, Aiden W., and Haley. Great job. And last but not least, sixth grade, uh, Maddie, 
Skyler, Karen, Hayden, Sophia, Damien, uh, Peyton, Sarah, and Bianca. Great job. Sixth grade, I gave you my speech yesterday. I can't wait to see what y'all do you know, with your futures. And I'm so glad I got to teach y'all. I'm very thankful that y'all were my sixth graders and fifth graders last year. I'm Nancy Scribe, school counselor. Every morning, we declare our school's mission statement. Students, would you say our mission statement together with me? I will achieve my personal best and make a positive impact on the world around me. To help us live out our mission statement, we learn about and practice positive character traits. Our Walnut Grove family believes that character development is very important to our education and to our contribution to the world. This year, we focused on the following monthly character traits, gratitude, empathy, generosity, flexibility, dedication, curiosity, forgiveness, determination, and conscientiousness. Each month, students were recognized by their teacher for consistently demonstrating the character trait among their classmates. With the following students, please stand when I call your name and remain standing until I finish. For September, uh, gratitude is our character trait. In fourth grade, Elena and Talon. In fifth grade, Ariana. And in sixth grade, Hayden. For, for October, uh, empathy was our character trait. In fourth grade, Peyton S. Crimson. For fifth grade, Landry Claire and sixth grade Sophia. And we can save our applause till the end of the year. Um, we have several to go. For November, generosity, Ms. Uh, Young's class, Michael and Seth. In fifth grade, Cheyenne. And in sixth grade, Ethan. For December, our character trait was flexibility, and all of our teachers and staff were top dogs for this month, so teachers and staff, feel free to stand. For January, a dedication. In fourth grade, Natalie and Nicole. In fifth grade, Eric and Liam. And in sixth grade, Mackenzie. In February, for curiosity. In fourth grade, Celeste and Crimson. For fifth grade, Sutton and Houston. And for sixth grade, Damien. For March, forgiveness was our character trait. In fifth grade, Rodney. And in sixth grade, Peyton L. For April, determination was our character trait. In fourth grade, Riley M. and Nicholas. In fifth grade, Kaysen, Aiden, and Haley. And sixth grade, Kaya. And for May, conscientiousness. Uh, fourth grade, Hannah and Lexi. Fifth grade, Leo, Serenity, and Rodney and sixth grade, Maddie and Griffin. Boys and girls, let's give a hand of applause for all of our employees that have given their love and care to you this year. each of you for all of your hard work and dedication throughout this year. <laughs> Sixth graders, as you leave our nest, remain focused on your educational path. Enjoy the journey ahead and leave a positive mark on the world. 
I have a poem that I've adapted for you called Great Expectations. It's time to say goodbye. Our year has come to an end. You've made more cherished memories and many more new friends. We've watched you learn and grow and change from day to day. We hope that all the things that you've done will help in some small way. So it's with happy memories that we send you out our doors. We have great hope and expectations for what your future has in store. Everyone, please have a safe and an enjoyable summer. This ends our awards day 2021. You are dismissed.